Dear students, when you cut a watermelon or an apple, you find some black colored things in them. Can you describe what these black colored things are in these fruits? Yes, they are the seeds of watermelon or apple. How do you think these black colored seeds were formed inside the fruit? We will learn about this in our second chapter, Reproduction in Plants. What do you mean by reproduction? Reproduction is a process by which new individual organism is produced. One of the ways by which plants reproduce is by the help of flowers. A new plant grows from a seed. So, to start with, we will learn about parts of a flower. Flowers come in many different shapes, sizes and colors. They are the reproductive part of a plant that gradually develops into fruits. They are not only involved in the reproduction but are also a source of food for other living organisms. They are a rich source of nectar. Flowers can either be complete, perfect or incomplete, imperfect. A complete flower has all of them, sepals, petals, stamens and pistil. On the contrary, an incomplete flower is the one that lacks one or more structure. A flower has many parts. Starting with the pedicel, it is a small stalk bearing an individual flower. Next is sepals. Flower buds are often covered by green leaf-like structures called sepals which protect them in the bud stage. Uh, then comes the petals. Usually petals are the most prominent part of a flower structure. They are the most colorful and attractive part of a flower. Their main function is to attract pollinators like bees, insects and birds and they protect the inner reproductive structure of a flower. Stamen. This is the male part of a flower. It consists of two parts namely anther and filament. Anther is a yellowish sac like structure which is involved in producing and storing the pollen grains. The filament is a slender thread like structure which supports the anther. Pistil. This is the female part of a flower. It consists of three parts namely stigma, style and ovary. Stigma. It is the topmost part or receptive tip often sticky which receives pollen grains. Style, it is the long tube-like slender stalk that connects stigma and the ovary. Ovary, it holds a lot of ovules. 
it is the part of the plant where the seed formation takes place. Students, we learn about parts of flower in this portion. Hope everything is clear to you. Next, we will learn about pollination and fruit formation. Pollination is a process through which pollen grains from the anthers are transferred to the ovary of a flower. These pollen grains reach the ovary through the stigma of the flower. After pollination, flower develops into a fruit. Fruits contain seeds. A fruit may contain one, few or many seeds. The process of pollens joining with the ovules present in the ovary is called fertilization. There are different ways through which pollination occurs. Flowers have bright petals and strong fragrance that attracts insects and other animals. Also, flowers have honey-like liquid called nectar. They visit flowers for the nectar. Insects like butterflies, bats, hummingbirds, wasps, moths, ants, beetles, bumblebees and honeybees act as pollinators. Wind and water also acts as an agent of pollination. Students, let me ask you a few questions to see how much you have understood. First one, what is the yellow part of this flower called? Is it stamen or pistil? Yes, that's right. It is stamen which comprises of both anther and filament. Now, second one. What is the fine yellow powder on this bee called? Great job. Right, pollens. Third one. Why do flowers use pollen? Yes, flowers use pollen to make seeds. Now, the fourth one. What is the name of the pollen helpers who move the pollen so the flowers can make seeds? Yes, that's right, pollinators. Students, did you know not all plants bear flowers that grow into fruits? Some plants such as ferns and pine do not bear flowers. Their seeds are not enclosed in fruits. So children, today we learn about parts of flower, pollination and fruit formation. If you have flower at home, try to find out, observe number of petals, does the flower smell, are the petals brightly colored, but please don't go out of the house, stay at home, stay safe.